the DNA from a person to be cloned is injected into a human egg. And what's created is an intact cloned embryo of that person. If this new embryo grew up, it would be the person's identical twin. So with cloning, the idea is that you take a human egg, you remove its nucleus, and instead, you inject the DNA from a person to be cloned. This turns it from being an egg into a cloned human embryo. It then develops and produces stem cells which can be removed. However, some have grave concerns about this process. Your whole purpose in creating this new life is not to allow it to grow and survive. Your whole purpose is creating it just to destroy it. So you're creating a class of human beings whose only reason to exist is to be destroyed for research purposes. It could take hundreds of pregnancies to perfect human cloning, a process that could result in scores of babies with horrific genetic damage. When they're put into experimental animals, they tend to form tumors just as much as they form a cell or tissue, and they don't tend to repair the damage that we're after. No cures provided by embryonic stem cells. There's not even a single patient that's been treated yet because after 25 years of research, you still can't show that embryonic stem cells are safe or that they're effective, even in the animal studies. If we can't ban the production of people just to serve as spare parts for the rest of us, we don't have much hope of doing anything in the world of ethics. Today I am issuing a directive that bans the use of any federal funds for any cloning of human beings.